Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, we are out at Badger Reservoir doing some pike fishing again. Uh, really looking forward to it because uh, the bass fishing trip didn't work out too well, so, and we know how to do pike fishing. So out here by myself, actually my wife is with me. She's holding the camera. We're gonna do a little bit of kayaking and I'm gonna get out there and do some fishing. So let's get on the water. All right, everybody. So just caught my first fish ever on a bait caster. Uh, I filmed the whole thing and realized I had the lens cap on the GoPro. I even reminded myself to take the lens cap off of the GoPro. I have a lens cap that goes on it now. Anyways, I still have the fish. So there's the fish I caught. Um, very lively, it was a great fight, so it's really unfortunate that I didn't have the camera on. I have fixed that now, I have checked it, uh, and so we'll get some future footage here, uh, but that's ridiculous. So uh, I filmed two things with the lens cap on. I caught one earlier in the day. I lost it right at the kayak. Um, obviously, I don't have the footage from that, and then I just caught this one. This one is um, 27 inches and 3.7 pounds. Just finished doing the weights and the measurements. So. Uh, nice fish to start out, really nice and thick, healthy. I'm gonna do an underwater release here and try to get back to fishing now that I've fixed everything. Unbelievable. It's always what happens, camera issues. Got another one, and this time the camera is on. And what I was trying to say the last time when the filming failed is uh, trying to get used to this bait caster and setting the drag. The drag isn't quite right. So I'm still messing with it, but um, this is a nice fish, I think. Good fight. Haven't seen it yet. It's turning my kayak, so. Um, oh yeah, this is a better fish than the last one. I got the new net here. Got the new net here, got it extended. Oh yeah, got it. Oh yeah, that's a better fish, nice. Woohoo! <sighs> okay, landed that one a lot cleaner than the last one, so. Um, trying to get used to these new nets and the new rod, but I'm having some success nonetheless, so. All right, we got the hook out. Um, so, uh, as I said before, these new nets are rubberized. So, um, you don't have to worry about snagging the fish and the fish don't get tangled up in them. So, that's a fantastic thing. As you can see, this fish is not, it's flopping around, but it's not getting tangled, which, which is great. We just picked these up. Um, I don't wanna lose this guy. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that one goes five. That one goes five pounds easy, I think. Nice fish, maybe four and a half. That's a beauty pike. Oh yeah, I could tell by the fight that that was a bigger one. Let's get that measured up. Oh no, gone, oh no, oh God, it got off the... <laughs> well, at least I got it on film. Pretty sure that was a five pounder. Would have gone about uh, 32 maybe inches, 33 inches. Oh, doesn't matter, I got it. And I got it, I get to help hold it. Uh, still a nice fish nonetheless. I'd rather that it got off safely and got away, so. Oh, still felt great to catch. So, let's go get another one. All right, everybody, so I mentioned the new nets. This is the new nets we picked up. Uh, collapsible, so for easy storage. You just flip this back, it locks into place, and then it's also extendable. So you can extend it out uh, a lot more to land the fish. Um, gives us a lot more reach than we had before, which was a bit of a problem, as you saw with our older nets. So now we've got quite a bit more reach. The other thing about this new net is that it is uh, rubber coated. So 
we don't have to worry as much about issues with our hooks and also the fish if they thrash around in that net are not going to wrap themselves around in it because it's not nylon it's rubber coated and and it's uh, a lot smaller hole so that's going to work really well and lastly the third thing about this net that is different than our other nets and is a feature that i really like is that this um, material right here is foam and so there's a foam ring all the way around this net and the handle is also hollow and has foam in it so if you drop this in the water it floats which is pretty awesome so we got a new net we got a floating net in case we drop it and we have an extended net to allow us to get a little bit more reach uh, it's also a much bigger net actually so we can net a lot bigger fish in it I'll give you guys just tagged into another one here it's uh, fighting really good again Seems like as the water's cooling down here in the fall, they get a little more spunk to them. This one feels like another good one. There's some weight here. Oh yeah, there's definitely some weight here. Either that or it's in the weeds. It might be in the weeds. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's definitely in the weeds. Yeah, smaller fish in the weeds. But we'll take it. There we go. The ability to have a net that doesn't tangle up is nice. That's a smaller one for sure. But we'll take it. Uh, that one is 24 and a half inches. 24 and a half inches, not gonna weigh that one. That one will come in at about uh, maybe two pounds, pound and a half, two pounds. All right. Got another one. And I finally got the drag figured out on this thing. Feels like it might be another smaller one. Man, they are hitting hard today, which is fantastic. Hitting really solid. Another small one. I'm gonna try to land this one without the net. Whoa! <laughs> Wanted a little run there. Let's see if I can land this one without the net. Although having the net is better because if this fish flipped this hook, um, there's a chance this hook would go right into me. So you gotta be careful. I'm holding on to the hook for that reason or not okay use your own advice I met the fish much smarter get the pressure off of that hook so that you don't get uh, hooked in there look at that it just came out as I was uh, got it in the net so look at that right out of that rubberized net there we go. Another small one. I think I will uh, just do a release right out of the net. All right, let's see if I can get this one out. There we go. <laughs> go on. That was not the best way to handle a fish. Okay, let's talk a little technique. Um, we have been to Badger a number of times now, so we know this lake pretty well. Uh, as you guys saw, I'm running the baitcaster for the first time. I am running a Len Thompson spoon. It is the custom uh, Revere Ag Seeds Limited <laughs> Len Thompson. Really, it's the green and white that I love. It's been working really well this year. And uh, what I was looking for was some 
weed areas, which you can see here, they're showing up really well. As you can see these weed beds here, these weed beds are down at about two meters or six feet. There's a fish that just came across right there. So I'm looking for this area where I can skip this lure just above that at about six feet or two meters. This lure will go down about five feet. So it's just above that weed line. So I'm sitting anywhere between three and a half to four meters. You can see I'm just floating in 3.3 .3 here, but I've been trying to stick to that three and a half to four meters. Uh, that is the zone that seems to be working and where I've picked up all of the bites today. So uh, that's the technique. As for what I'm doing, using this, uh, medium action rod with this uh, number zero Len Thompson lure and I'm just slow trolling um, pretty slow trolling gentle paddles and I'll show you that in a minute I just want to get the line out here and cast so I can troll a little bit all right so the line is out and I'm just slow paddling just like this Gentle troll, I've uh, been picking up quite a few fish. That was a weed. <laughs> I'm a little bit too shallow. See, I got into the two and a half meter and now I'm too shallow. All right, I'm gonna fix this and get back to fishing. All right, just on my way in here for supper and uh, picked one up right near the campground. There's the campground just over there. Another good hit. Ooh, he's running long way out there too. Long way out there. Feels like a decent one. Sometimes hard to say. I haven't given a head shake in a while, so. Uh, maybe similar to one I caught before there. Oh, there's a good run. Definitely got the drag on this thing sorted out, so that's good. Looked like it might be wrapped in the line a bit. Yeah, that's a decent sized fish. Oh yeah, that's a good sized fish. I'll take it. And it's off the hook. Okay, yeah, that's a nice sized fish. It's a beauty. I'll take that any day. That one is oh, about the same size as that first one I caught. 27 and a half inches. Last look out of the sun. These are thick fish. I think they're putting on some weight here for winter. Winter is coming as they say. All right, you guys, never ever give up on the figure eight. Uh, if you don't know what the figure eight is, it's a pretty common musky move where when you bring your hook in uh, just before you pull it out of the water you just give it a swish like a figure eight or an infinity symbol that's exactly what i just did here gave it the figure eight right at the kayak and uh, picked up this fish so pretty awesome i am also missing my net uh which apparently is floating somewhere in this reservoir <laughs> which I'm gonna have to go get and this is a nice fish too let's see if we can land the fish first all right I got it um, yeah as I was saying before my my uh, net floats and I just lost it So I'm gonna get this fish off and go find my net. But this fish is the biggest one I caught today. All right, there's the fish. That's a beauty. That one is 
29 and a half inches. I'm gonna get a weight on this one quick. Uh, four point. Uh, it's kind of topping out at about four, six, four, five. So that one's four point three pounds. That's a nice fish. I'm gonna do the release right here, so I can go find my net. Gone. All right, guys. I have a net floating somewhere in the reservoir, not very far from me because I just had it. So let's go see if we can find it. <laughs> 